everyone and welcome back to zoo crafting we are here relaxing after our long morning work of working over in the red wolf exhibit or what is soon to be the red wolf exhibit and we're back up at the house back up at the staff lounge outside the house and the hopefully what will be the future garden and we are getting ready for our very first side quest our very first side quest in the new world i'm so excited for those of you guys who do not know what a side quest is it is basically a special extra episode that comes out on a day where we already had a normal zoo crafting episode and we spend some time doing chores and working around the house maybe adventuring exploring making gifts for friends poking at new mods basically having uh, a little bit of extra time to just sit down and try to explore what our amazing world has to offer and usually we don't work on the zoo too much during side quests because this is our time off this is our time to be playful and and excited and figure out what's out there in the world waiting for us all yeah oh my poor pup pup okay they're getting a little bit hungry all right i think we're gonna go ahead yeah they're all set to wandering so i'm gonna go ahead and let the dogs wander around for a minute but what we're going to do today there you go holly there you go guys everybody can wander about i gotta go close the kitchen doors then so you don't wander downstairs and out through uh out through like sunflower's house oh and darling da -da 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 gotcha <laughs> But today I thought we would be doing some work in here in the garden. Wait, this isn't the garden. In the kitchen! I meant in the kitchen. So that we can figure out what needs to be added. Um, just throughout the entire the entire root cellar, basically. We have a ton of food we've been collecting. Dang it, Pine! I didn't know you were set to, to docile. Let's see. Let's take you back outside. Come on, Pine. This way. Come on. Alright, hi, puppies. Alright, Pine followed me. Good job, Pine. Come here. And let's go ahead and we're going to set you to wandering. And the dogs are just wandering around, having a good time now. Good. Do I have food for them? That's the freezer. That's the fridge. I do not have food for them there. Do I have food for them? I do have some cooked pork chop. But yeah, I need food for myself and I need food for the dogs, which is why uh, I thought that would be today's side quest. And I do have some fun news. Look who's back! Look who's back! It's Batmoth! He's hanging out up in our little kitchen area now. He's just so freaking adorable. Hello, Batmoth! How are you? He seems like he's doing fine, but look at our cute little kitchen. I love it. I love it, but it's not functional yet because we don't have any of the food that we have collected sorted for anything. So I thought that's what we could work on today. In fact, let's go ahead and take all of my armor and all of my gear. Whoops, better close this door too. Just because otherwise the dogs will be tromping around everywhere. They might fall down. Like they might wander down there. And then who knows if we'll be able to find them again. Alright, yeah. Let's just go ahead. Ooh. What was that? Tier 3? Oh. Haha, hmm. -ha, look at that. If I shift and go over the backpack, it actually says like what tier they are and stuff like that. That's cool. Also, we should add description tags to our steel leaf uh, armor. And I need to add the Feather Falling enchantment now that I think about it. Alright, so there's all of that. Because I don't need to carry any of it around in the house. Um, actually, let's take my armor and put it up on the little armor stand. It's like a little coat stand that way. Ta-da! Wonderful. Now I can just relax, Persephone, and focus on being more at home. And we can start focusing on sorting out all of the different food items and everything we have, including all of these amazing mushrooms. There are a ton of freaking mushrooms in here. So I guess that's the first thing I'll work with, since also we'll be able to get a lot of mushroom stew and stuff like that from the mushrooms that populate the area. Oh, and I'm going to need some signs so I can put signs on here. And I think I'll put the mushrooms in one of these crates. Where, yeah, these two crates where it'll be nice and dark. So mushrooms will go on the bottom. And I'll fill this up with mushrooms. I feel like I should put dirt in the bottom of here, too. So let's go get some nice dirt so that the mushrooms are properly stowed away. I wonder where Artemis is. She's wandering around. They wander really far right now, the cats do. Alright, hello, Major Calhoun, Captain Cass. How do you do? Go down another level. Do I have any dirt loose in here? don't see any. Okay, I don't think I have any dirt in any of these. Miscellaneous, maybe? No. Rotwars and metals. Alright, so we'll dig up some dirt in a little bit. 
But yes, we are actually finally using Pam's new Harvest Craft mod. So we have her unreleased version of her Harvest Craft mod, which is so exciting. I know, isn't that exciting? Dance on the table, exciting, darling. It is, it is, it is. Because it means we have foods available to us, including, let's see if I can find it. Uh, da -da -da -da. Like, I think there's now a butter churn we have. So churn, yeah, there we go. Look, here's now a churn. And if you make the churn, it'll actually create butter for you, which is really fun. So you don't make it on the stove anymore. And there's tons of new recipes and there's tons of new, like little additional features. And there's now traps actually, so we can get meat for our dogs. I, I just remembered that, darling. All right, let me see, darling, darling. Really now, you're not a cat. You don't need to be jumping on the tables. That's so funny. But yeah, we can actually trap. We can make some traps. Whoops, -a Daisy. There's quite a few. All right, there we go. So which ones are Pam's? Steam trap. I believe it's these ones. So you can make an animal trap and a fish trap and you fill it up with uh, bait. So there's different types of bait that you can make now. Here we go. You can make veggie bait, fish bait, fruit bait, and grain bait, and it'll attract different animals into the meat trap. And we might actually set up one of these meat traps so we can feed our dogs, but we'll probably do that another day because I still have a little bit of food left. But it would be good to set up like a spot to start bringing in food for our, our puppies because we need to feed them. All right, let's take out any spices and the roots. Oh, here's more mushrooms. We have so many mushrooms, that's awesome. Yeah, nutmeg is a spice, ginger is a spice, coffee beans, those will count, mustard seed will count, uh, spinach, nope, there's an egg, pecans, that's kind of like a nut, I would, I would keep pecans in my, like, baking cabinet, so I'll go ahead and get those, peanuts can be turned into peanut butter, so yeah, we'll gather up the nuts too, hmm, hmm, I think that's everything in terms of spices for now. And I wonder if we should turn the spices into what they need to be. Come here, come here, Ginger. All right, no, clear you. I need to set an item. Uh, okay, let's try this time. Dang it. <laughs> it can be a little bit tricky to get everything working the way I'm supposed to get it working. Gingerbread house, that's cool. All right, Ginger, what can I turn you into? Okay, Ginger doesn't turn into anything, so I don't need to grind it up, but what about nutmeg? Set item, then we'll just go nutmeg. Yeah, nutmeg turns into nutmeg powder. There we go, so ground nutmeg with the mortar and pestle. I kind of remember most of these. So I'm just gonna get that one down. Come over to the counters over here. I really need a, a little like station. I need a crafting station over here. Okay, well we'll fix that in just a second. All right, mortar and pestle. And then let's go ahead and grind up all of the herbs that we can. Uh, peanut butter. Do I get peanut butter? Nope, not doing it that way. Pecans are probably fine. Mustard seeds. I think mustard seeds are just used as they are. So let's clear that. Set so item. Mustard. Yeah, I'm pretty sure mustard seeds. Oh, they do become mustard. You juice them. You put them in the juicer. Darling, isn't that interesting? I'm going to put mustard seeds in the juicer. Who knew? Like, who knew what kind of interesting day we could have? Also, don't worry. The puppies will get out of the rain. All right, there we go. And edible root. How can we use you, edible root, to make root beer? Oh, look at that. A cutting board and spice leaves make edible roots. That is so cool. I could have sworn there were more recipes to do with edible roots, but we'll have to, we'll have to figure that out in the future. Let's see, coffee beans. Do I need to roast you first? Okay, no, they don't need to be roasted first because they turn into coffee once you roast them. Pecans. Pecans are new, so let's see what we can make pecans into. Mince pie, sweet potato souffle, pecan pie, trail mix, date nut bread, pralines. Yeah, pralines, I think that's how you pronounce that. And a pecan sapling, so interesting. All right, well, where am I gonna put my nuts? The nuts, nuts, nuts for all of our food. Up here? Maybe, I'm gonna put the mustard up here. And I'm gonna put a little bit of the salt up here. But otherwise, let's see, peanuts, more and pestle. Let's see, rinse that off and put it away. And rinse the juicer off and put it away. Okay. 
Otherwise, it'll go in here. This is going to be our spice cabinet. And it'll also hold the nuts then. All right. So we'll put peanuts down here. Cons over here. Peanuts, how do we turn you into peanut butter? Oh, and the juicer! <laughs> you know what? Let's just go ahead and we'll put them in the juicer. And put them up top. Because Darling and I love peanut butter. We eat it in copious amounts. So we'll have that ready. There we go. Wash, wash, wash. And put that up. And now we've got peanut butter ready. Oh, this is so fun. I love getting the kitchen prepared. Whoops. This is the presser. So this is actually where we would put honeycombs. Which reminds me, we need to make lots of apiaries to put our bees back out in the gardens again. All right. Oops. That's right. We already sorted that one. Now to haul all of this stuff downstairs. I know where the apples and the carrots go. And I think we'll be putting the gourds in their own spot. So like the pumpkins and the squash, maybe the cantaloupe, watermelon, maybe. Depends. Cantaloupe I put in the fridge personally. So let's just haul all this downstairs. And then we can start sorting it all of our delicious foods. And then I think we might go outside. We'll take a quick nap, quick snooze. And we might go outside to pick some of the herb garden that is growing up along the sides of our wonderful little mountain. All right, put that there. Oh, we might need to start working on an actual garden too. Our single egg. I should go get some chickens. Oh, that would be fun. All right, and then up here. So where do I want to start putting everything? This is where it gets kind of interesting. Um, this could be the berry basket. So I'll put berries in here. Should I put all fruit in here? Nah, probably just berries like I used to do. All fruit in here? Maybe. Maybe. Because there's lots and lots of space in each one. So actually, berries could go here. Mm, how many types of berries are there? That's a good question. So let's see. Anything with the phrase berry in it. We have berry, iron berry, the, all the iron and copper and tin and aluminum and essence berries go elsewhere. But raspberries, strawberries, blueberries go here. All of the plant mega pack berries, orange berries, heirloom and mistletoe berries, huckleberries, gooseberries, elderberries, blueberries, blackberries, beauty berries. <laughs> so many berries. And also we have Pam's unreleased, and we'll go into these in detail in the future, but we have her unreleased nether crop pack. So now we have Maro berry salad. So there's Maro berries coming up. Or seed, excuse me, Maro berries. Milkshake. Okay. So yeah, there's quite a bit in here. Oh, a raspberry trifle. Oh, that looks adorable. I need a new vanilla. I need a new vanilla tree. Oh, I'll have to set that up. Look at the cute little herbs hanging from the ceilings from DecoCraft. All right. You know what? I think we'll put the gourds. I think we're going to swap where the mushrooms go. Heavy gourds go down here. Mushrooms go up here. There's more mushrooms. And then... Uh, Oh, I've already put some things in here. Well, let's empty it back out because I'm going to have to sort it again. <laughs> let's put like the little greenery. The green matter goes in here. Garlic should go upstairs with the... Garlic and chili pepper should actually go upstairs with the spices. But artichokes and cabbages, uh, parsnips, all of those things I'll throw in here. If it's green-ish and, and white-ish, then it'll go in here. But otherwise, look at the cute little beet vegetables in here yeah all other veggies will go in here tomato is actually a fruit believe it or not but i'm gonna leave it in here just because everyone thinks of it as a vegetable so we'll leave it in here beans oh which should be my bean jar are you my bean jar no i'm putting old uh, i'm putting like <gasps> whoops a daisy didn't mean to do that there we go what I'm going to be putting inside of the barrel is going to be like old pressed juices so they can age for a long time. Juices from say like uh, another harvest festival or an art festival or the many, many like fishing contests, the many, many, many kinds of things like that we're, that we're going to do in the future. So where should my beans go? Hmm. How? Hmm. The thing is, I love keeping beans in jars in real life. I have bean jars all over the place in real life. Should I put them in there? Maybe. All right, we're gonna we're gonna test this out. I'm gonna put my beans right there. How does this work? Okay, shift click. Shift click. Okay, and put it in. Okay, there we go. My beans are put away. That is so cool. I love these little shelves. They're just awesome. All right, we'll go ahead and put the fruit right over here. After all, so fruit goes here. Onions, peanuts, sweet potatoes. 
Um, I'm going to put sweet potatoes over here and onions over here as well. All right, there we go. And now I've got some peanuts. I'm going to make that into some more peanut butter. And we'll put these away. Oh, I'll need to get out any candleberries because they definitely don't belong inside of anywhere where we can eat them. Candleberries aren't for eating. They're for making candles. All right, there's that. So now we've got more peanut butter. Wash, wash, wash. What can I turn the peanut butter into? Whoops, Daisy. Knocking down all my dishes. So peanut butter, what can you become? <gasps> peanut butter cookies would be so good. And we're, I can't believe how we're starting fresh on all of our ingredients again. So it's like, ah, wait, I don't have any flour. I don't have any eggs for real. I don't have any sugar for real. So lots to work on that. Um... If I have some celery, I can have some celery and peanut butter. I do like that as a snack. Oh, look, and there's celery right here. Perfect. We will combine their powers, and ta-da! Now I have celery and peanut butter to snack on. Wonderful. Nom, 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 nom. One of my favorite treats, but Darling hates it. <laughs> All right, and then we're going to go ahead and put the chili pepper and garlic in our spice drawers, just like that. Ah, oh, and that's wonderful. So now we're much better sorted and able to deal with the coming future. Let's get the candleberries out. I guess we'll take those downstairs because they'll need to be taken down. Candleberries are turned into candles. You can make them by putting them in the pot. You can make them into wax and then you can turn that wax into candles. A lot of candles or hardened leather, depending. So we'll take that up there. Whoops, still have a little scallion. Oh, what could I make the scallions out of? Man, I'm getting hungry now. Everything sounds so good. Oh, wow, you can use blood leaves. That's so interesting. So you can use blood leaves from uh, the nether to make into the veggie bait or to make stock out of. So technically it's like vegan, I guess, because they're blood leaves. They're not made out of animals or anything like that, but whew, interesting. All right, so let's put the scallions away. There we go. I've got a little snack. Is it almost... Oh, it's, it's getting into sunrise. So by the time we go downstairs... Put these away, get some signs. Hello, Major Calhoun and Captain Kaz. Oh, there you are, Captain Kaz. Whoop, okay, there you go. Whoop, hello again. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I'm not going to question your, your security methods. All right, let's see. So coal, it should probably go in here then. Kind of with coal and everything, since it's used to make light sources. And now we need, let's see, wood of many colors. Let's take the oak wood. And we're going to craft, whoops, <laughs> oh well, that happened. And we are going to craft, I wonder, can you take the oak planks? You can, you can take the oak planks and turn them back into, uh, into wood. That's interesting. Well, I'll remember that for the future. Let's get a bunch of sticks. And then we want to make a few signs. You know, having a few signs on this probably isn't going to hurt. In fact, we'll just go ahead and make the whole bunch. Because as time goes on right now, and we run around and explore all of the new areas, we're going to be wanting to be able to smack signs down and be like, this is what we're going to build here. This is what we're going to build here. But there we go. All right, so let's see if it's still raining or not. It's still raining? Yes. Let's see if I can run upstairs and sleep through it real quick. Hello, Persephone. Hello, darling. Mwah. All right. Let's run upstairs. I wonder what we're going to decorate in here. Can I sleep it off? Oh, nope. It's just a light rain then. All right. Well, let's go over there and we're going to go pick some of the lovely little... Uh, oh, wow. The essence berries are already really working on it. Hello, Nightlock. I see you have resumed your usual look. Oh, and you guys, check this out. I'm going to show it off to you a lot more in the future. But this is a fan-made mod, a fan-made t-shirt sent in by Unity. And it is our I Heart Lily and Tate t-shirt, the very first and hopefully a long line of really awesome outfits and gift items and things like that that we can put into a gift shop. So there we go. See, see, check it out. Look at that. I heart Lily and Tate t-shirt. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. That's awesome. I'm going to leave it right here for right now. There we go. But it's very nice and I cannot believe how fun it is to finally have it in. Unity made that for us a very, very long time ago. And it was only recently when we updated to 1.7.10 that I was able to add it in. So a fan made mod just for us. Oh, that's so fun. I cannot wait to get our little uh, mossy treasure chest. There we go. 
And here's our poor queen bees. We'll have to take them out in the future. Darling, you startled me. I love you. Alright. But yes. Um. Why did I go upstairs again? Oh, I was trying to sleep it off and it wouldn't work. That's right. But yes, eventually we'll have gift shops and things like that where you can go to get... Alright. How's all my dogs? There's Holly. There's Pine. There's Zoe. Okay. There's Ash. Oh, let's feed everybody. Jeez, you guys are like right on the brink of starvation. Zoe, you are starving! There you go, sweetie. Sit down and rest. Poor baby. Pine, quick! Before starvation sets in. Good, there's the other two. Holly, Alia! Alright, quick, quick, before you get hurt. Okay, good. Yeah, we're gonna have to make an animal trap. I think we'll do that tomorrow, maybe for a side quest. Uh, or actually, if we have some time during the episode itself. Because it's going to be important to make sure everybody's fed. Hello, Ash! And check it out! This is a little carpenter's gate that leads out to a very small path that runs over to where Mushroom Island is. You can see Mushroom Island in the distance. And the as yet unnamed mountain. Some of you guys are suggesting some great names for that mountain. But I think we're going to hold off on naming it until I actually go over there to see what it is in that mountain. So let's see. Oh, look at all the mushrooms! I'm going to harvest these guys up. So many mushrooms to eat, my goodness. Oh, and there's some fossils here. Oh, and I didn't bring my pick. Oh well. We're just we're just here to go and collect some more wild plants after all. Alright, so let's pop up up top. Um, I don't believe there would be a way to pop up top from here, actually, because I blocked it all off so the dogs can't get out. Alright, there we go, but I could shimmy up this way and we can pick some mountainside herbs in the rain. How fun is that? Alright, so here we go. Let's clear this out so we can see what we gather. Tea leaf, mustard seeds, and celery. Look at those. Herbs, roots, spices. Oh, and it stopped raining. Yay! Ginger. Oh, I love forging. It's so fun. Alright, is that everything? I think that's going to be everything, and I'll leave those two gardens to repopulate the area. Yeah, that's good. Ah, oh, look at that. Is this celery? It is celery! So that pops up from herb gardens. How fun! Alright, so we will return this. Zoe, I will get you a dog bed. Oh my goodness. Definitely going to have to make sure I get dog beds, but the dogs otherwise seem to be enjoying running around the yard now. But yeah, we're definitely going to have to feed them, because otherwise they're going to they're gonna take damage, and they're going to be in so much pain. Because they don't do very well. Tea leaves put you away. They do not do very well when they're just left to like wander about. Where on earth did our... Oh, I turned it into mustard. Alright, we'll leave those there. Celery, I would not call that an herb myself. So I'm going to put it down with our green stuff. There we go. Oh, and I have more mushrooms from mushroom picking. Ah, it feels so good! So our pantry is now sorted. We have that settled. We know we need to make an animal trap to try to attract some uh, some critters nearby and manage to get more meat for our dogs. So we'll try setting that up probably tomorrow, actually. Oh, hello, Agent Noodles. He's <laughs> so funny. Probably tomorrow when we go back down to Lily, Tate, and Iris and we start working on our red wolf exhibit again. So that might be something we'll like walk off into the forest and set up. So we'll have to see what happens. But there we are, everybody. Thank you so much. We now have our kitchen semi-started, semi-sorted. At least all of the abundant things that we have been collecting. In fact, let's go downstairs. Ah, I keep tripping over this. Ah, walked right into the door. Got stuck in my own door. How embarrassing. Yeah, all of the things we've been forging have been sorted, which makes me feel very happy. Hey, none of that. You're supposed to be a sign. Come on. There we go. Here's the berry basket. There we go. And this is the fruit uh, drawer. I guess fruit. What did I call it last time? The fruit drawer? I guess we'll just call it the, the fruit cabinet. Nope chest fruit orchard basket fruit basket i'm just gonna go with fruit basket wonderfully animate that all right and then we'll go over here no you're supposed to be like green green leafy foods whoops green leafy goodness and then over here hey signs you honor little things hey come on don't be so stubborn 
There we go. Veggie crisper. There. So it has started a slow start, but a good start to sorting out everything that we're going to put in here. There's my little beans. Everything that we're going to put down into our amazing, adorably, adorably cute little root cellar. So we've sorted out the root cellar, and I will see you guys tomorrow as we get back to work working in Zudesia proper and getting our zoo properly built. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.